Dundalk weren't considering anything but all three points when they hosted struggling Sligo Rovers at Oriel Park and after eight minutes Brian Gartland nearly opened the scoring but was denied by the quick reactions of Mitchell Beanie. The visitors had their own ambitions though and when Caelan McAleer spun away from Robbie Benson Gary Rogers needed to look sharp on his 507th league appearance. There were 23 minutes on the clock when Dylan Connolly broke forward down the right. His initial cross was cut out by Kyle Callan McFadden, but when it rebounded back out, Patrick McLean clipped Connolly and referee Tomas Connolly pointed straight at the spot. It was clumsy from the defender who may not have been fully aware of Connolly's position, but not too many complaints. Up stepped and shimmied Patrick Hooban to blast the penalty straight down the middle and put the dock in front. After that setback, Sligo pushed forward positively and Gary Boylan tested veteran keeper Rogers from distance, but the man from Navin pushed the shot around the post. Sligo should have been awarded a penalty of their own moments later. Reese McCabe's brilliant ball put through McAleer, but Rogers was quick to snuff out the danger and almost the attacker too. Much to Rovers' amazement, the referee saw nothing wrong with the challenge and took his time to explain that to a prostrate and disbelieving McAleer. Two badly executed backward passes gave McAleer yet another opportunity just before half-time. The man from Straban anticipating Stephen Folan's weak header skipped round Rogers and took the foul in the box. This time Connolly, with the help of the assistance flag, pointed at the spot and McCabe rattled home the equaliser into the roof of the net. After the restart, Dundalk began aggressively. Sligo's John Mahan had to make up some ground to deny Hooban another chance earlier on. His strong defending applauded by manager Gerard Little. The home side should have grabbed a second on 60 minutes. Hooban's through ball was cut out by McCabe, but the striker battled hardest to regain possession and played in Benson, who put it on a plate for Ronan Murray, but the Maya man couldn't organise his feet with the goal gaping and pushed it wide. With just one minute on the clock, Dundalk swept forward down the right. Conley's cross was too heavy for Hooban, but Michael Duffy retrieved. Dane Massey sent it back into the danger area, and Hooban was there to thump in the winner. An 11th goal of the season for the man from Galway, who seemed to enjoy his winner against Sligo almost as much as his six-pack. And the Dundalk crowd was in full agreement. A last gasp attack for the visitors was set up by the talented McCabe, but neither Adam Morgan nor Seamus Sharkey could find a way through town's desperate defenders. Mission complete for Stephen Kenny, but not his most comfortable victory. Dundalk 2, Sligo Rovers 1. The players kept believing and they kept probing. We missed so many chances, and the Sligo goalkeeper was outstanding on the night. And... Um, you know, we just we just couldn't get that second goal, but the players persevered and thankfully uh, it was a great cross on Dane Massey and brilliant header from Patrick. Very proud of my players in terms of the performance and the the, the work rate that they put in, the effort. Um, you know, some nice play at times as well. Should have had a penalty uh, and and they've cleared one off the line later on. The, the balls hit the, the defender up a face and he's known nothing about it. So. On another night, you know, then we break 12 feet and it didn't, didn't tonight, so.